is going on guys welcome to another video today I'm going to be showing you how to install an SSD or an HDD on the 2021 HP Pavilion gaming PC uh, as you see I have my SSD right here and it's going to be a straightforward process pretty easy so let's begin so first thing you want to do is unscrew this black screw that holds the side panel in Now what you want to do is pull the side panel back and out. So I'm going to do that right now. So you press it back and then out. And then you can put the side panel to the side and now you have access to the inside of the computer. So next what you want to do is unscrew this screw right here. This little black piece right here. Now once you do that all you got to do is pull it back a little bit and try to unclip it from the side here. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain to do. Uh, I just gotta pull it a little bit hard. And then it flops down, you have the three hinges. Take it off straight like that. Next, what do you wanna do? Uh, the front panel here, you have three tabs. One, two, and three. All you have to do is pull back on it towards you. All three of them. Do that one, that one, and the side panel should just flip open like this. And then you have this screw right here that you have to unscrew. Now this is optional. You can take the front panel off completely by unplugging it from right here. Uh, but for this reason, I'm not going to unplug it. There's really no need to. Just make sure you lay it down softly and not yank it out. But now you just unscrew this and that will take out the tray. Now once that is unscrewed, now all you have to do, there's three tabs on top here. All you gotta do is just pull it out towards you and just slide it out. Like that. And now you have access to the tray which we will install the SSD on, or the HDD. So this is the SSD I got. So if you want uh, to buy this one or whatever, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can get it for yourself. So how this works is you have holes on the sides. You have one, two, three, four, but on the tray itself, you have uh, only three as you can see here, but it's no big deal because these are pretty light, so three screws should hold it just fine. Now also keep in mind that the SSD or HDD you buy usually doesn't come with screws, so make sure you have the small screws. Uh, now in my case, uh, I only have two short ones, so what I just did is I did two diagonally, and that should be enough to hold the SSD in place without it moving around too much. So if you do buy an SSD or HDD, make sure to buy some screws uh, so you can screw them all in. So this is how it looks with the SSD installed. Make sure the pins are facing outwards, or at least downwards. Uh, so all you gotta do is you put the three tabs in here, and then make sure it goes all the way, push it in, and then what you would do is screw it in, and also plug in your uh, SATA cables, I would do that first before you tighten this. So I'll go ahead and plug in your SATA cables. So this is what it looks like once you install it. You put it here and you have the SATA cables installed and then you screw that back in to hold the tray in place. So now all you got to do is you take the front panel. You start with the right side first. Just make sure you get that all in lined up. One way you can tell is if uh, the holes here line up like with the USB and everything else and then you get one two and three clicks and then once you do that then you just put the side panel back on actually before you put the side panel back on make sure you put this black piece in so all you got to do is have these three tabs put that in there and then pull or push it up and it should click in place, and then all you have to do is screw this back in. Alright, so now that you got the black cover in, now we have to do is just put the side panel. So, you basically just put it on, make sure it's straight, and 
and you basically, you basically like push it in and then you slide it forward and it should line up over here make sure the hole is lined up and pushed in all the way and then once it is then the last thing you have to do is just put the screw back here all right, once it's screwed in, you're all finished and ready to go. You have your SSD or HDD installed into your computer. Um, so give this video a like if this helped you out. Subscribe if you aren't already and hit the post notifications. I'll be doing some more little upgrades to this PC. Uh, so please let me know if you want to see more videos of this. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.